guys, welcome to this video. Alright, so in this one we are going to discuss a concept. And this is of two types of growth, linear and exponential. No mathematics, just pictures to help us visualize the meaning of these terms. So what are they? Okay. Imagine you have a little population of people. Okay, let me grab another marker here. Say you've got these two individuals. The two little people. All right, and the population here starts growing a, at a linear rate. What does that mean, linear rate? It means the following in simple pictures that, for example, say it looks like this, in other words, one person per one day. So what this means is this, one person per one day so if it begins with a population of two, okay, imagine this is day zero, right? We just created the universe with the two people, okay? <clears throat> no biblical overtones of any kind. Now, this is what happens. One person per one day means if this is day zero, then day one has a population of... You still have these two people, right? Unless there's some kind of death, but assume, you know, let's be optimistic. And now you're going to add one more person to the group, correct? So now you have three people on day one, okay? What happens on day two of this growth process? Guess what? Because the rate is one person per one day, that means on the next day, you will have these three people from day one, right? Those three people who exist from the previous day. But to this, I'm sorry, to this you will add one more person. This is linear growth. See that? The rate of growth is constant. It doesn't matter whether you go from day zero to day one, you increase the population by this one fortunate individual, right? <clears throat> When you go from day one to day two, you will again increase the population by only one individual. That is what we mean by linear growth. Now imagine billions of years have passed, okay? And everything is you. Know. And you know what the rate of growth still will be? A billion trillion years into the future? It will still be one person per one day. Okay, so imagine that you have a population now. This is where you have to use your imagination, right? Think beyond the common things. Okay, imagine you have a huge population. And what this is saying is, imagine this is like day now, I don't know, 10 times, you know, 10 to the 9, okay? It's a long, long time has passed. From this day, to the next day after that, the population here will again increase by, guess what? Because the rate of growth is constant, it will increase by one new person still. It will always increase by one person. A billion trillion years into the future, it will still increase by one person, assuming that, you know, there's such a thing still as humanity, which is, you know, highly unlikely, but it's another matter. Okay, so this is linear growth illustrated with simple pictures, okay? Now, there's also the concept of exponential growth, which is quite different, okay? Here, notice that we don't care how many people are present at any point in time, right? We don't care whether we are starting with two people, okay? Or we are starting with three people, or we are starting with some huge number of people. Each point in time still means we add only one new person, okay? Regardless of how many people we have already, we add only one new person. So keep this in mind, right? This is so important. The ability to understand that we are adding only one new person regardless of how many we have. Why does that matter? Now take a look at exponential growth. This is fundamentally different, because in that kind of growth, things are like this. 
you're beginning with, say, one person, okay? Now here, obviously, you probably want to use bacteria, right? Something that can be produced asexually, but <laughs> imagine we have a, you know, a human being that can do that. Why not? And what it's saying is this. It will split into two. See that? But then it's saying that each of these individuals will somehow magically split into two more. There you go. So you've just gone from a population of one to two, and then at the next stage here, there are twice as many as at the previous stage, which means at the next stage of the reproductive process, you know how many people there will be? Twice as many as there are here, right? So in other words, think about this carefully. What this is saying is this. This growth knows what the size is of the quantity at this very moment. That's what it's saying, right? It's saying, huh, okay. I know that I, right now I have four, which means at the next stage I will have eight. And then, for example, here it knows, okay, right now I have two, which means at the next stage I will have four. Do you see what the fundamental difference is between this relationship and the linear one, right? In a linear growth process, it says, I don't care how many I have, I will always grow by the same amount. This says something considerably different, right? It says, I care very much how many I have at this instant, because it means this. If I have two, I know at the next one I will have four. And if I have four, at the next one I will have eight. And if I have 8, at the next stage, I must have 16, right? In other words, here the base is 2. Meaning, this is double the previous. These two are double the first. Okay? So, linear growth works like this, to review. You are always adding the same amount, regardless of how many you have already. Exponential growth says... The number I have already makes a huge difference because the number I have at the next stage is double the current amount. Okay? So it's highly sensitive to what we have at this current stage in the process. It's deeply aware of it because then at the next stage it will multiply it by some number, by the base. Okay? By 2, for example. Okay? So... I would suggest draw a few pictures for yourself. Make sure you truly understand this concept. And above all else, get away from just writing mathematical symbols. Start using your imagination. Start picturing things. Then the meaning starts clicking together much more insightfully. Okay, so that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I hope it's given you some valuable insights.